Right, welcome back to the Vantage Point YouTube channel and I'm going to do another album review and this is a tribute album to a Rick Parfit called Rockers Rolling and it's by Michael Voss. <laughs> So yes, album review time again, and um, regular viewers, should there be any. Oh no, I have my little Hall of Fame, so there it is, and uh, at the end, Michael Voss's uh, tribute to Rick Parfit will enter it somewhere, depending on whether it's good or bad. So um, Michael Voss, I first came across him on the Temple of Rock album from uh, Michael Schenker, where he, I think he produced, he wrote most of it and uh, sang on a lot of it. And unfortunately, the, I felt that what let the album down most was the vocals. So when I heard he was doing this, it's like, cool, Rick Parfit tribute album. Mm, not sure how, how good it will be though. But anyway, I, I have purchased my copy. So it starts with Again and Again, that uh, very generic status quo song. And um, the intro starts really quite poppy. Um, not 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 in a particularly um, in good way, but it's certainly more so than the than the co-version. And then I assume the person shouting, do you want to rock the start is uh, Jackie Linton, who's a guest on this. So advertising him as a, as a guest on this album, I think it's pretty much a waste of time if that's all he does. And um, it doesn't sound as good as uh, Parfit's ad-libs on the, the original. Again, I think probably what, um, does unfortunately let the song down is the singing. Other than that, it's a, it's, it's a pretty competent version. It's probably, it's, with a lot of the tracks, it's not quite got the, the backbone or the, the, the kind of oomph with, with, which Co have given to their songs, which a lot probably comes from Parfit and his 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 playing rhythm guitar with um, some bass strings stuck on it. But yeah, it's, it's a fairly decent rocker. It's, um, You don't want to spend it all, I suppose you, you do probably want to spend it comparing to the original, yeah, and it's not as good as the the original co-version, although it's it's maybe slight, slightly not quite as produced as that's the, the co-version, because that's what the If You Can't Stand The Heat album suffers from. It's trying to sound a bit contemporary during its time. Uh, next up is uh, Rain, which I guess outside of whatever you want, which is uh, conspicuous by its absence on this album. It rains probably Parfit's signature tune. And um, again, it really lacks the, the oomph of the of the original. It's, it sounds slightly weedy. So it's... played competently. And uh, but again, Voss is struggling on the vocals as well here. So, it's, it is what it is. It's that's certainly one you, you go, yeah, I'd rather just listen to the original track. As much as it's nice to have someone doing a tribute to Parfit and that recognizing his, and recognizing him, which is, you know, Cole have never been darlings of the media or cited as a great influential band. So it's nice to have this, but it's, um, he's just slightly limited in the vocal of um, replicating Parfit. And then the next car, um, the, the next car, the next song, Don't Drive My Car. It's, it's actually never been one of my favorite co -trons. It's quite good live, but I think on record, it's a bit, it's a bit pedestrian. It's not something I'd, I'd listen to much. Um, it does better vocally here. And I think that's maybe just because the, the song is just a bit more laid back and it's not perfect up the, the top of his range anywhere. So wait, it's another competent version of the song. But, um, um, well, as I said, I don't, I don't think the original is much to write home about either, so that's fine. 
next song up is uh, For You, which is a bit of an interesting choice. It's showing the, the kind of the other side of Rick, more uh, lighter side. And again, it's it's easier vocally for Voss to manage, so it's it's not so bad from that point. And it maybe stacks up a little bit better against the original, just because of the the rather poor mix it's on uh, rocking all over the world. The songs in that don't they don't seem to breathe properly. All that it all sounds a bit muddy and stuck together. So so it's it's quite a nice little tune. And it's, it's done done quite well here. Next up, we have the I guess the the title track, "Rockers Rolling." First thing you notice here is that there's a lot more piano in it than on uh, Coe's original, whereas Coe's has a, a nice kind of picked guitar part at the start, kind of augmenting the the song. This this I guess is re replicating it on piano, and I don't think it's actually it sounds very good. It just sounds a bit odd and jarring. Other than that, it thumps along quite nicely. Um, and the, the instrumental sections are quite good and quite rocking. And with most of the guitar solos in this, I assume played by Voss, he, he does pretty much replicate what um, Rossi played, but he is, he is a guest on this one whose name escapes me at the moment. But he does more of a, I guess, his own solo. And that's, that's quite good, so it really really kicks along, so it's certainly in the, the end section is really good to listen to. Although you kind of wish it gone on a little bit more. It just had, they just broke into the rhythm section. You think, oh, just keep going. But um, they didn't, they unfortunately they faded out. But so that's one of, the, one of the, the highlights here. So then we have Oh What A Night, which is, um, the guitar is a little bit more to the floor in this version than the, the co-version because as I was saying with Again and Again on the If You Can't Stand the Heat album they were trying a bit to be a bit more contemporary I guess and brought in some extra production values and you know there was a lot more bells and whistles on that with the, the keyboards and the brass and the backing the female backing singer so it's actually quite a nice version of the song it probably shows that it would would have gone down better with the fan base if Co had done it in there in their traditional style. But uh, the, the next song, Something About You Baby, I like is probably the only odd choice, being that all the other songs were sung and written by Rick, whereas, whereas this one wasn't. And then Francis was the main thing, although they did that thing where Francis sung verse in a bit and Rick would sing bridge. And so but um, the Rick Parfit Jr. is on this tune. But I think he's singing the, the Francis Rossi bit. And where I've said before, it's the, the great thing about Cole with those two vocalists is you can have Francis singing in the song Don't Like The Seven and then Rick comes in for the, the bridge or the chorus or whatever and it, it lifts it. This doesn't work here because Voss comes in for the, the Rick bit to lift it and he's just struggling and he doesn't sound so brilliant. So it kind of detracts from it again. So just another competent run through of the song, I guess but not one you'd probably go reaching for. And then uh, another kind of deep dive track is uh, Reason for Living. Again, kind of showing the breadth of the the, the writing within Co. But um, I don't want to keep harking back to it. Again, it's the vocals, I feel kind of let it down. I mean, there's a nice instrumental section, it's a nice little head nodder. Head nodder. But the, the vocals and the vocal effect on it, I just, it's a little bit off-putting. And then, we have uh, Coming and Going, which uh, features Bob Young, which is always a good thing. He's on the, the harmonica there. So it's a, it's a real kind of brooding, m moody track from the, the Just Supposing album, which is which will not be well known to the the general public. In fact, probably not even well known to the, a lot of the casual fans who go the, the, to see the band. But um, it just doesn't quite have the grand it's just not quite as grandiose and weighty as the the, the co-original. It's as nice as he is to hear Bob Young play quite a bit of harmonica on it. But it's a good track to pick, and you know I do enjoy it. But yeah, with all these, I'm thinking I'm just listening to the originals. But then um, finishes with the "Living on an Island," which um, has the add bonus of having John Coughlin on drums. 
Although the best bit about the original is, is the kind of the end section where he, he really cuts loose on the drums, which he doesn't really do here. He puts in a few fills, but it's not quite the the same. But I suppose it's not 1979 anymore, is it? Yes, yeah, another competent recording of that song. Again, nothing brilliant. So, um, or all, it's interesting to hear and nice to have it, but. For, for the most part, I think it'll just be filed on the old CD shelf and it may come out occasionally. But yeah, as I said, it's nice to hear a, have a little tribute to Rick and um, have someone else play his songs. Um, it's as limited as it is in some ways. But he obviously has a lot of affection for Rick Parfit, as you can, you can tell by the way he's... The, the, the photo shoots and the... And obviously the copy of Rick's guitar he has. If it's a copy, did he maybe borrow the original for the photo shoot? Who knows? So anyway, that's um, Rockers Rolling, a tribute to Rick Parfit by Michael Voss. It's got uh, my my album, my, my track scoring, which is obviously it scores for these versions. When I get around to reviewing any of the albums with those songs on it, they, they might get slightly different scores, most likely slightly higher, which gives the album an overall score and it goes into the my Hall of Fame. So um, thank you as always for watching if you've made it this far and um, you're always welcome to go and have a listen to a Vantage Point song and say how can you slag off other people's recordings when you've done those? Oh, you never know, you might like them. But thanks for watching. Catch you later.